<laughs> so Microsoft claims that you need a Microsoft account in order to run Windows 11 Home. And you know, I just don't accept that. So today, I'm going to show you how to set it up without one. Stay tuned. You know, Microsoft, we're tired of your accounts. Just stop it. Microsoft for a while now has been pushing their Microsoft accounts. The amount of people that sign up for a Microsoft account thinking that they have no choice, they have to, is just unbelievable. And most of the time people don't realize that they can just have a local account in Windows. They don't need a Microsoft account. And in fact, I recommend not using a Microsoft account because you know, let Microsoft go the hard way to steal your data. Don't just give it to them. But either way, I'm not going to use a Microsoft account. And because of this, I've actually already decided that all of my new systems are just going to come with Windows 11 Professional. In fact, most of my systems now, I'm still loading with Windows 10, and it's going to be professional because these people are going to upgrade to Windows 11 at some point. And when that happens, I don't want them to have to create a Microsoft account. So using the Pro version, at least I can have some control over that even though Microsoft will try to force the Microsoft accounts onto them too. But, you know, it is what it is. Either way, when the news broke that Windows 11 was going to require Microsoft accounts for the Home Edition, I was just livid with Microsoft. You know, I just don't want to deal with this. When I set a computer up for a customer, I'm setting the computer up. I typically do it at my shop and then I bring it to the customer and once it's done, it's done. I don't want to have to deal with setting up a Microsoft account on behalf of the customer in my shop when the customer's not here. I have a hard enough time setting up email addresses for customers when they're sitting right next to me. I certainly don't want to set up a Microsoft account for them when I'm not there. And the way I set systems up is I don't use the out-of-box experience like some manufacturers do. I actually set the system up with the user profile and everything. So when I bring the computer to them, they can hit the power button and it's ready to go. And that's the way I like to do it. And I'm not going to change simply because Microsoft wants to spy on customers. You know, find another way to get data from your customers. Don't do it this way. So there has been ways of getting around this, but they don't work exactly the same way as they did originally. I think Microsoft is trying to patch this hole. And unfortunately, if they do that after filming this video, then we're gonna have to figure out a better way to do it. But as of the filming of this video, this way works. So hopefully this will be around for a while and it's a little bit more complicated. So hopefully Microsoft won't jump to fix it as fast as they fixed the other one. So the first thing that we're gonna to need to do before I can show you how to do this is set up Windows. Since I already have Windows 11 set up on this system, we're gonna to have to reinstall it. So I already have a thumb drive here ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and set up Windows on this system. And the process is pretty simple and I'll probably fast forward most of the steps so we don't waste as much time, but let's get to setting this up. All right, once you boot off of the thumb drive, this is the screen that you get right here. Go ahead and hit next and then push install now. So here you can actually enter your product key if you want, or you can just click I don't have a product key to skip that part. At this point, we have to make sure to choose Windows 11 Home, because if we don't, there really wouldn't be much point to this video, would there? So I'm going to do that right now. So we select Home and hit next and then accept the agreement here, hit next again, and then I'm gonna click on custom install, and here's all the partitions I have currently on my drive. So I'm gonna go through and delete all of these partitions because we're gonna do a completely fresh install. And then once we do that, I'm gonna click new to create a new partition. Windows 11 automatically goes through and creates the partitions it needs. So this is the one we're actually gonna install Windows 11 on. So we're gonna select that and hit format, hit OK. Takes a second to format and then hit next. So at this point it's going to take a little bit. It's going to actually copy files from the USB drive to the hard drive for the installation and then once it's done it should reboot into the out-of-box experience which is what we actually want to mess around with. That's where we're actually going to get our local account in Windows 11 Home. So once this finishes I'll skip ahead to that point and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so now that we got into the out-of-box experience part of the Windows setup, this is where we're gonna actually do our trick in order to set up a local account. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna need to do is choose your country and region. I'm gonna pick United States, but you choose whichever country you're from, and then go ahead and hit yes. And then from this point, you wanna pick your keyboard layout. Mine's obviously gonna be US. We're gonna hit yes. 
and then tell it to skip adding any other layouts. And then Windows Update is going to go ahead and check for updates. Hopefully it's not updating around this bug that I'm about to use because that would be a little inconvenient, but let's hope not. All right, so this is where everything gets important. Right here, you have to give your device a name. And so I'm gonna name mine Cyber CPU, and then go ahead and hit next. And when you hit next, it's gonna reboot your computer, and this is where the workaround comes in. So now that I've hit next, what I wanna do is go ahead and get up. I wanna go behind my computer here, and I wanna unplug the ethernet cable. So now that it's going through a restart, and I've unplugged its internet, the system's gonna come back up and it's gonna be like, where's my internet? So once the system boots back up, it's not gonna know where its internet connection is. Right here it says, let's connect you to a network. Now originally the way this workaround actually worked was there was a little back button right here you could click, and by clicking that it would allow you to create a local account. Unfortunately, Microsoft has fixed that, but there's a real easy way around it. Let me show you how to do it. Make sure your mouse is within reach. Put your mouse right over the next button, and then we're gonna take our ethernet cable. We're gonna go ahead and plug it back into the computer just to give the system an internet connection. It's gonna take one second for it to detect that it has a network connection. There it is, we're gonna go ahead and hit next, and then I'm gonna unplug the ethernet cable again. So now, it no longer has internet. And because of that, it's gonna come up and let me create a local account. However, it may take a minute to do that. And there we go, who's using this device? It's asking me my name, so let's go ahead and finish the setup. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and type my name in here. Gonna hit next. Password, I'm gonna put none, gonna hit next again. And then all of this, you can uncheck the stuff you want unchecked. It's probably a good idea to uncheck all of this, but I'm gonna skip all this right now and just hit accept. And now we're going through the original welcome animation. So it's gonna take a minute for this to get through this and then we'll finally be in Windows and I'll go ahead and show you that I am in fact using a local account. At least in a few minutes I will, but I'll just fast forward that for you. And here we are, we're now in Windows 11. Now at this point, you can connect your internet if you'd like or you don't have to. Connect it whenever you want. At this point, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on settings here, and we're gonna go into system, and we're gonna go into about, just so you can see that I am in fact running Windows 11 Home. If you look right here, this is clearly Windows 11 Home version 21H2. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and click into accounts, and for account, you can see that right here is my name, and I'm in a local account. So as you can see, a Microsoft account actually isn't required to set up Windows 11 Home, but I have no doubt that Microsoft will probably fix this workaround in the future. And when that happens, well, I guess I'll just have to make another video. And if you're using a computer that doesn't have an ethernet jack, then it's gonna be a little bit complicated for you. What you can try doing is make sure you have access to your router and connect your computer to Wi-Fi in order to get through that initial portion. And then in order to kick yourself off the internet, you can either push the hotkey on the computer to turn the Wi-Fi off or just unplug the router, whichever is easiest for you. And that hopefully will get you around the requirement for a Microsoft account. But if it doesn't, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll see if I can help you through it. But anyway, if this was helpful to you, then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. I post a new video every week. Oh, and hey, before you go, check out a couple of these videos. Have a great day.